Hi! Welcome to another virtual story time with me, Miss Erin, at the Saradat Clarksville District Library. Let's do our song. So if you want to read a book, clap your hands. If you want to read a book, clap your hands. If you want to read a book, sit down and take a look. If you want to read a book, clap your hands. If you want to read a book, stomp your feet. If you want to read a book, stomp your feet. Stomp, stomp. If you want to read a book, sit down and take a look. If you want to read a book, stomp your feet. Stomp, stomp. If you want to read a book, sit and go. Shh. If you want to read a book, sit and go. Shh. If you want to read a book, sit down and take a look. If you want to read a book, sit and go. Shh. Okay. So our first book today is called Life on Mars. And then you know what? We have another book called On the Launch Pad. And a book, ooh, it kind of matches my dress, called The Babysitter from Another Planet. What do all those books have in common? Hmm. It looks like they all might have aliens in them and space. So I think we're gonna have an alien space themed story time. Is that exciting? I'm excited. Okay, so let's get reading. So our first book, Life on Mars by John Aggie. Life on Mars. I am on Mars. I have traveled a long way from Earth. I am here to find life. Hmm. Do you see? I don't think there's that much life around. Everybody thinks I'm crazy. Nobody believes there is life on Mars. But I do. And I just know that I'm going to find it. <gasps> do you see life? What's this little guy? <gasps> So far, Mars looks pretty gloomy. More gloomy than I thought. I'm starting to wonder, could anything possibly live here? Hmm. Do you see any life? Do you see any life on Mars? Hmm. It's dark. It's cold. I've brought this gift of chocolate cupcakes. But I don't think I'll find anybody to eat them. Oh, there he is with his little gift. Hmm, I wonder if he'll find anybody. Wow, I was wrong. Mars is nothing but miles and miles of rocks and dirt. It's obvious nothing could possibly live here. Hmm. What a disaster. Everybody was right. There is no life on Mars. I'm going home. Immediately. Look, and he left his little present. Uh oh. Where is my 
spaceship. <gasps> oh, you can see where he's walked. Uh oh. I can't believe it. I'm lost. Lost on Mars where there is no life. Wait a minute. What's that? What do you think he sees? No way. It's life on Mars. It's on Mars and it's alive. What an amazing discovery. I can't wait to get back to Earth and show everybody what I found. You found a flower. Hmm. And look, my box of cupcakes. How did it get here? Hmm. Now I've got to find my spaceship. I bet I'll get a good view from the top of that mountain. Hmm. Is that a mountain? Aha! There it is! There's his spaceship. What an adventure! I always believed there was life on Mars. And I was right. Oh, jeez. So he thinks the flower is life. Hmm. What about that guy? Uh-oh. And there he goes. His rocket ship. He's opening the cupcakes. I think I deserve a treat. Uh what do you think is going to happen? <gasps> They're gone! What happened to all those cupcakes? <gasps> oh, do you really think so? You think the alien ate them? Probably. I eat a box of chocolate cupcakes if someone brought them for me. Okay, so now we're going to do a rhyme about the moon. So it's a new one for us to do together, but you might have heard it other places. So it's called Zoom, Zoom, Zoom. And it's super fun because at the end, we get to pretend to be rocket ships, okay? So we're gonna stand up for this one. So stand in your spot and I'll do it first. You can try to do it along with me, but we'll do it again afterwards all together. Okay, so it goes, Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. If you want to take a trip, climb aboard my rocket ship. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon in five. So crouch down like you're gonna blast off a rocket ship. Five, four, three, two, one, blast off! Oh my gosh! Okay, so let's do it all together. You guys ready? Okay. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. If you want to take a trip, climb aboard my rocket ship. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon in five. All right, gotta crouch down, gotta get ready. Four, three, two, one, blast off. Oh my gosh, that was so good. Okay, well, we'll have to do that one again because that was pretty fun. <laughs> so now we're gonna read a book about rocket ships. Is that exciting? So it's called On the Launch Pad and it's a counting book. So I'm gonna need your help reading it and counting. And it's by Michael Dahl. All right. Here we go. 
12 stars twinkle in the morning sky. Let's count those. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Eleven workers, oh, I zoom out. Eleven workers take care of tasks. Let's count these guys. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Mm. Nine spotlights shine up on the rocket. We count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Eight trucks carry the fuel. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight. It's a lot of fuel for a rocket ship. Here we go. Seven radar dishes silently stand. Okay, so let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And six astronauts ride the elevator. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, we're counting down. Five control panels glow and hum. So what do we got here? One, two, three, four, five. Look at all of those buttons. That's almost too many to count, I think. Four windows gleam in the dawn. One, two, three, four. Nice. Three launch towers slide away. There you go. One, two, three. These are the launch towers. They hold the rocket upright and secure. <gasps> Two rocket engines rumble and roar. <gasps> One, two. Oh gosh. <gasps> wow. So one shining rocket aims towards the stars. There's one. Blast off. Psh into space. The end. You guys were really good counters on that story. It was really exciting. There's a lot that goes into spaceship launches. I didn't even know. All right, but now, what was that little boy looking for in our first book? looking for aliens? Well, for our flannel board today, I think we found some. All right, so here's our flannel board. So we're gonna do called Five Little Aliens. So let's put them up here. One, two, three, four, Five. So there's five little aliens come out the spaceship door. One did a somersault. And then there were four. One, two, three, four. Four little aliens as silly as can be. One fell over backwards. Oh no. And then there were one, two, three. Three little aliens wondering what to do. One wrote a space monster. And then there were two. One, two. 
two little aliens were having so much fun, but one beamed home. And then there's only one. One little alien on earth so alone, but he missed his friends, so he went home. So good, the five aliens. Okay, so we have one more book. We have one more book today. And this one is called The Babysitter from Another Planet by Stephen Savage. Hmm. Do you ever have babysitters come to your house and watch you? Do you think they're ever from other planets? Let's see what might happen if they were. It was Friday night and mom and dad were headed to the movies. The babysitter will be here any moment now, they said. I think she may have arrived, said my big sister. It was, dun dun dun. The babysitter from another planet. Spaceship. Oh, you can see him right there. Doesn't look like a normal babysitter. She took some getting used to. But she knew just what to do. <laughs> Ooh, look at all that yummy food. She helped us with our homework. Huh. And made sure we brushed our teeth. Hmm. I know, look at that toothpaste. She read us a bedtime story and sang us her favorite lullaby. Oh, there she's singing. What kind, of, what kind of lullaby do you think aliens sing? Hmm, I wonder what it would sound like. But we weren't tired. Hmm. We didn't even notice mom and dad pulling in to the driveway. Quick, jump into bed, I said. The babysitter from another planet just smiled. Yeah, nightlight. Next Friday, Mom and Dad went to the movies again. This time, our babysitter was just a plain old human. So what do you think they did? So they called the babysitter from another planet. There she is. And this time... Dun, dun, dun. She brought friends. Oh, look at all those aliens. Oh my gosh. The end. Oh, I like that book. I think it's, it's funny to think about what would happen if an alien came to babysit. Not your grandma or your grandpa or your neighbor, but an alien from outer space? What? That's crazy. I don't know if your moms and dads and adults would ever let that happen. Hmm. Well, 
that was our last book. So you know what that means. Story time is over. Well, thanks for coming to another virtual story time with me, Miss Erin, from the Serenette Clarksville District Library. I love spending this time with you. It makes me so happy to be able to be with you for this time and read books and sing songs and talk about aliens. Well, I will see you next time. Bye.